How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, just a little while ago, I did a video on a uh, hoist uh, by Beam Nova. It's a portable um, lifting hoist. You can use it on a trolley or you could use it just anywhere you want as long as you could plug it in because it ran off of 110. Well, it had the uh, control. This was our control lever. This made it go up and down. And in my shop, I don't need that long of a cord. So I'm going to see if we can shorten the cord on this thing because my shop's not that tall and it's not that long and this cord is extremely long. So if you're buying one of these and you want to know how to shorten the cord, just watch this video. So the first thing we're going to do is just lay that stuff on the floor because it's just way too much for us. And grab yourself a Phillips screwdriver and we're going to take the back off of this. We're going to see what's on the inside, so we'll know if we can shorten this or not. We should be able to. So once you got your screws out, we'll pull the back off. Now, it looks like this uh, switch itself is waterproof. It has a rubber seal on it. Maybe in case you was to drop it in a box of oil or a bucket of oil or, you know, in a bucket of water, it wouldn't uh, get any moisture inside of it. So uh, at this point right now, what you want to do is get your cell phone out and snap a picture. Um, because you want to make sure all these wires get put back in the exact same spot that they were in when you started. Now, I see this one here has a, a clamp right here that goes over it, but they tied a knot right here to keep that from pulling out. So we're going to go ahead and take this out, this little clamp thing they got. Now, I suppose they didn't do that. They didn't put that all the way down in there because there's... You know, when that's tied into a knot, it's there's not a lot of room inside here. So let's let's so we're gonna be able to. I don't know what that thing is down there. Now that must be a piece of the rubber that's sealing it up there. So we're gonna go ahead now and unbolt these three wires. And don't forget get your phone out, take a picture because you want all these in the same place. Now we can pull through whatever cord we want to get rid of and we're just going to strip it down and we're going to rewire it back up just like it was. Okay now we're going to pull through the, the cord that we want to cut off and I'm going to leave mine probably about 12 foot long or so and that's more enough to go across my garage and I have it marked here you can see it coming through right there. That's where I want to cut it off at and rehook it. So this should be a pretty easy job. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to snip it off because we do not want the rest of that. So there's no turning back now. We either do it or we don't have a, a switch. So I'm going to see how we can get this off. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut this very lightly around. And then we're going to bend it because we want to break that wire. We don't want to cut into the wires that are underneath. Okay, so now we've pulled out our three wires that we need to rehook. Now, mind you, these wires are very, very thin. That's why I tried to cut it, score it, and then break it instead of cutting through because you'd probably just cut right through your wire. That's how small it is. So we're going to go ahead and strip some of these down, a little bit down on these. You don't need much, just a little bit, very lightly push it on the blade and then pull out. Each one of these do the same thing. We can twist that a little bit. We'll do the same thing with the black and the red. 
we're only going to go probably maybe not quite a quarter of an inch on these. One more to go. It's a little bit hard doing this because I'm not pressing on that knife very hard. I don't want to cut through the copper. So now if you guys uh, took the picture that I said to take before you started, this is what's going to come in handy for you. So we're going to go ahead and retie this just like they did. Tie my knot just a little bit tighter than they had, but I think we can get it down in here. Maybe just a little better, hopefully. And like I said, the reason the other screw to this wasn't in is because it's tight down in there. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get two screws in this one. And I think I can. Get our screw start here. I think I had too much coffee this morning. It's shaking. Okay, now I'm going to go find another screw to put in the other side. I'll be right back. All right, so we have uh, we have us another screw here. I'm going to straighten all this out a little bit in here. And we're going to get this bad boy right down in there. And get our second screw. Because we pull on this thing, we don't want it coming out, that's for sure. Now that looks pretty tidy in there. As you can see, we put our plate in there. We got a knot up here. And now all we have to do is get our wires back into the place. And uh, you remember where they go? Yeah. Red, yellow, black. I know where they go because I took a picture. <laughs> Am I right? Well, let me see just to make sure. Yellow goes here. Mm-hmm. Red, black goes there. Black. And mm. You're right. I was right. I was watching. I was oh, paying attention. Okay. That's why I always take a picture just to make sure <laughs> that we're doing it correctly. That's all. And uh, these are pretty easy to put in. So we're just going to loosen up our screw a little bit. We're going to stick it up underneath the here. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It just has to get connection. And then uh, I'm going to give it a snug. That's one end. Now we're going to do our black, which is going to come over here and go into this one. And then our red is going to go in the bottom one here. Now that all that's back up, we want to make sure that our rubber seal is in its little track. We're going to put it back together just like as if we never tore it apart. But I think we're going back together just a little bit better than what it was before. So we'll go ahead and snug up all of our screws. 
Don't over tighten this stuff, man. It's in plastic. You know, this is all plastic. It's not steel. You'll strip them out and it won't be worth it to you. They don't need a lot to hold them into place. And if you strip one, you're definitely not going to get the pressure to hold that seal down if you strip it. Okay, all we got to do now is stick it on our hoist and see if it works. All right, so we'll get this guy hooked up and see if it works. Turn our power switch on. Uh, we don't have too much cord. The, the cord is probably, it's long enough to like to reach, for, if I was standing on this side, the beat, or the winch, or the hoist was over here, or if the hoist was over here and I was standing over here. More than enough cord for me, and we just don't want it getting in the way. how you shorten the cord on the hoist from Beam Nova. So check out the links down below if you guys are interested in one of these uh, hoists. It's pretty nice. You can see what it lifts. I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.